Just days before Colombia's presidential elections, Gustavo Petro reported an imminent electoral fraud case, which questions the transparency of the process. The state's council task was to check the software during the audits. Today, just a week before the elections, this still hasn't happened. That means that CNE and the registration office didn't follow orders. These reports were already made by the Peace and Reconciliation Foundation in their latest statement. We have our doubts with regards to the software. We think there's a risk or fraudulent activity. President Santos has said that there will be an observation group, but Petro thinks the opposite. The president lies. We never asked for observation. We asked him to check the software, which presents algorithm modifications that might end in fraud. Our European counterparts can't aid us in this. They don't have the experience to audit the software. Yesterday, the president deceived the public. Another accusation of potential voter fraud is centered around electoral jury designation, something about which the Peace and Reconciliation Foundation has also made vocal warnings. Designación. We don't like the jury. That random way in which people get those charges is really concerning. The registrator stated that the accusations from both Peace and Reconciliation and Petro make no sense. The national government then called for an extraordinary meeting of the National Electoral Guarantees Commission. The national registrator must present a report about the audits made to check the software. The jury designation process must also be explained by him. What won't be possible is to have an observation board from the EU to check the software, which created instability in these elections. On top of this, eight years ago, law dictated that the national government establish an electronic vote system, but it still doesn't exist. This year, people will again have to vote manually.